Hey there, and welcome to episode 19 from a, a rainy Arizona. And my wife just showed me the meteorological report of what's coming our way. And uh, so I could shoot this any one of a number of days and it all would be rainy. So quite the storm coming through. Uh, but I uh, wanna talk about three quick things this week um, that are not necessarily connected random thoughts, which I think I'm allowed every, one, every once in a while in these to just kind of have random non-connected thoughts. But the reality is in my vlog for episode 19, I don't even have to ask permission. I can just continue to uh, do my random thoughts. So thought number one, uh, coronavirus. Interestingly enough, uh, obviously because my world is travel, um, keeping a lot of tabs on that, I uh, had someone ask me this week because I leave this weekend for Nicaragua with a team with developing workers, which is the organization that I train leaders around the world with. Uh, hey, are, are you still going because of coronavirus? And so I want to just make a statement that is no way, shape or form meant to be uh, insensitive. It is just that everything I have read talks about a couple of key things. One, if you're sick, stay home. Two. If you're healthy, you actually have a reduced risk of getting sick. But number three is wash your hands. Now, I like to call myself a selective germaphobe. And those of you that know me well know that that describes me well. I have always been a hand washer. Uh, one of the greatest anxiety creating moments of my life is when I am in a bathroom, I see somebody come out of a stall and then walk out of the bathroom without washing their hands. Uh, it, it freaks me out a little bit because for me, I was just taught, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. So guess what I do a lot of when I travel is I wash my hands, I stay hydrated, I take my vitamins, I get sleep, I, all these things which I do to do the best I can to stay healthy. So that's coronavirus. Number two uh, was just something that, uh, as, as you see, I am uh, sitting, not in the rain, but like uh, in our house, uh, we have a lawn chair that I will just pull out and just sit outside. Uh, we love grilling, so for grilling, I'll sit out here while while we're grilling. Um, I am a guy that loves being outside, loves being in nature. Uh, we are extremely blessed in Arizona to have South Mountain uh, Park, which is a municipal park, largest municipal park in the country, which has miles upon miles upon miles of trails. Um, I realize again and again, I talk to people about find the things that like refuel your tank from just the normal stress of life, hiking does. And so Saturday, I was out with a buddy hiking. Monday, I was out with a buddy hiking all at South Mountain Park. And it just reminds me that uh, I am glad that a mentor in my life taught me this principle of it's your responsibility to figure out the things that refuel you and then to pursue them. Um, I will always thank God that he moved us to Arizona because there are so many hiking options. So find what refuels you. And then number three is just kind of a funny thing for me, which is where I find marriage to be so enriching. Um, I, I think I have decent rhythm, but if you ask me to dance, I really have only got one like airplane move, which is my, my dance move. But I am married to a woman that loves dancing, loves dancing. Uh, we were at a wedding Monday night and at the reception, I realized that for me, the stars have to align for me to like just go out and just let loose and dance. I don't know that it's so much that I feel insecure about my inability to dance as much as it's just, I've gotta be in the mood. But I'm married, with, I'm married to a woman who she is always in the mood to dance. One of the greatest joys of my life in my marriage is just watching my wife get out on a dance floor and just her doing what refuels her. Um, she just uninhibited gets out there, starts dancing. Um, so as much as I know that there are things that refuel me, it's fun also watching her. Uh, I get out there for a little bit and just kind of make the complete fool of myself and I'm good with that. But, uh, 
it's just a joy to me to realize that two people don't have to be exactly alike to have a great marriage together. They just have to make room to allow each other to be the fullest version of them. I want her to be the fullest version of herself. Uh, we knew from our honeymoon I was never going to be a great dancer and have enjoyed almost 28 years of marriage anyway. So, hey, go ahead and like this video. Uh, I know for me, I keep producing content because I want to continue just to invest energy and thoughts and encouragement into people's lives. Um, go ahead and put down below, what are the things that energize you? What are the things that you find yourself refueled by? And as always, subscribe, and I can't wait to talk to you next week from Nicaragua, episode 19, out.